You know those little building blocks that start with a leg and end with an O? You know, the ones that have a land of their own. Well, those tiny, colorful blocks that are oh so fun to step on have inspired a grown-up version. Now those blocks have gone from hurting our feet to being quite chic. Here's Ali Ward to explain, and I still bear the scars. From the whimsical to the sophisticated, basic building blocks have been elevated by Everblock Systems. And founder Arnon Roseanne is the one throwing this new kind of block party. In varying colors and seven different sizes, each block is made out of polypropylene and is built with robotics and precision tooling in Long Island, New York. The idea is just take these blocks and repurpose them. They're kind of transitory. You can change them and reconfigure them and you know, one day it's a desk and then the next day it's a wall divider. We'll sometimes work with schools to support their STEM program and you'll see kids, you know, seven, eight years old, building really fun letters and cool structures out of it. And then on the other side, we've worked with art galleries and we've put up these incredible exhibits that you can hang art from and it looks very sophisticated and it's really a little bit more serious, we'll say. So I visited Beth Page, New York to crash Arden's party and to jam to the soundtrack of modern manufacturing. And so what are we looking at in front of us here? Right, so everybody always sort of wonders, are these like 3D printed or something? Yeah. This is a tool that we use and I think it's a lot bigger than most people imagine. It's made out of partially stainless steel and also aluminum. Okay. And then what you're seeing is the negative, that's the inside of the block over here. Ah. And then the two halves of these come together to create a block Almost like a really elaborate, you know, cookie uh, pan or something like that. And so the hot polypropylene is gushed into that, it's squeezed, and then out comes one of these. Exactly. Once it cools, it opens up, the part's taken out by a robot, and you have a part. These look simple, but to actually get them made, there's a lot of engineering and tooling that has to go in before Absolutely. you mold them, right? They're actually quite complex to get it right, because you're dealing with a lot of pressure when you're injecting all this plastic into a tool. Yeah, and if you're making something that is going to be weight-bearing, like a bed or a desk, do you have to really look at the physics behind how, what can this material take in terms of force? Absolutely. So if you look, you have these structural ribs inside, and then we have these substructural ribs. So everything is really designed to give us strength torsionally, and so you have downward pressure, because we're building a wall, so we definitely don't want something happening to a wall that goes over. Right. Uh, but these are really, really strong. The blocks are 100% recyclable, and there's even a version that is made from 100% recycled materials. They assemble quickly, and you can design it all yourself, or get as much design guidance and assistance as you wish. Sometimes we have clear blocks, uh -huh. and you can run lighting through it, oh. and then you get sort of a really fun illuminated look out of it. So you can either start from a completely clean slate and build as you go, or you can say, okay, I need Kind of a recipe, a blueprint of where I'm going. Exactly. So whether you just need like a wall to separate you from Becky from accounting. Absolutely. To choose a salad too loud, okay. or you need to build a dragon for your wedding or something. Exactly, exactly. We can, we can do it all. Mm -hmm. And that's what's fun.